The size of these things are insane. Look at that. Look at that one's claws. But oh, come on, let's go this way first. I'm gonna see if I can sneak around. It's hard to see you. Holy crap! Holy shit! Let's hit him up. Woo! With catch him all fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Oh my god, get him up. Here's our trap for the day, but before we get into that, let's take see if we can sneak up on these things together with my point of view before we even get Jordan involved. I see that there's some activity. There's a lot of activity right there. I don't see how we could possibly sneak up on them because this is a vast wilderness. Like it really is. My God. All right, hon. You ready? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> the reason I brought that stick is so if this, if this is quicksand that we don't we don't die. All right, great. great. I'm gonna leave this to you. Ready? I, I do not want to die in this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> this trap is badass. I made it myself, all zip tied. On a previous episode, long long ago, I've had this trap for years. Now you can get chicken wire, anything, but this is like I think it's a type of chicken wire. So you can see, there's only one way in this trap. Big one way though. See how big that hole is? Massive hole, but when it's something that crawls, it can't get out. When it's something that swims, it's very difficult to swim right down the center of that hole. So this trap is super, super awesome. It works like wonders. So the only other way out of this trap is by this little side hole. So what I wanna do first, before I add any bait or anything, is I wanna make sure that whatever we catch does not swim away. So, all I'm gonna do is take a little zip tie. These are zip ties as well. Oh, sorry, not zip ties. What's it called? Twist ties. And I'm gonna drop it and lose it forever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's good. And anything that pushes too hard is not gonna get through those twist ties either. And that's gonna be that. So as you can see, that's the only door that anything can get out. Otherwise, you're in here for good. We have our rope that's attached to it, depending on how far we actually go in this thing, which I, I have no idea. Um, I think what we need to do first is check it out, then come back and get our trap and give it a toss because the vastness of this back area is pretty intense. So we're, then we're gonna put in our bait, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, but come on, come with me first. Let's see, it's it's all wet this way. This is just all wet. So we'll use this, give it a poke. See what's solid and what's not. I think this is just all straight down. <laughs> look at this, look at this stick. Look at this stick straight down. Look, look at the tip of this stick. Right here, it just goes straight down. It's all water. Oh God. You first. No way. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's super deep. Oh, this is this is a really deep pond back behind here. I knew it was a pond because it has nothing but lily pads. You can see back back behind me, but my God, even right here there's a just a fall off. Look at this. Look again. Look at the tip of this stick. That's right there. That's one. That's one step in and it's already a foot and a half deep. That's right there. I think if we just give this thing a, a toss, that will be good. Check, let, let's see, let's see. Come step, step right over here. Step right over here for me. I'm gonna take a little walk. I see that there's a cypress root. Okay. It's all good. Usually when you see a cypress knee, you have at least a shot of getting like waist deep and not sinking to your doom. But if you are sinking in quicksand, flatten out and you can with a stick most of the time you can survive <laughs> that's not too bad oh crap <laughs> i don't want to just go boom this is solid i can grab onto that it's been nice being married oh no yeah this is i'm not pushing putting any pressure down and that's this with this stick alone that's that deep so just right here in the pocket, it's just endless, endless silt for the most part. I'm not, I'm not even gonna walk back there. That's a, that's a death trap for real. I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, that's a death trap. It's shallow water, but it is. A, oh, look at my foot. <laughs> just like that, my foot is. I can't even. My, my foot. Oh my god. 
Yeah, so that's not that's not gonna be smart, but it's perfect for crawfish and whatever else gets trapped back here. I think we just need to throw that thing as far as we can and see what happens. Let's do that. I see some more. Hold on, come with me. Come with me. I'm trying to think what's the best way to do this. Look at this. There's a bunch of trash over here. But there is water back there. Shallow right here. Bunch of crawfish holes. Let me see. Let me see the camera. I'm going to take you guys back here. Look at this. You see that little hole? Someone's been playing beach ball, whatever. Yeah, that's a nice hole back there. A lot of water. A lot of water back there ton of it ton of little creatures kicking up water kicking see bubbles let's see if we can get back without swimming with the can can you see the roots like this is normally solid ground there's a ton of ton of stuff you know what we might be able to just put it put that trap right here even though oh yeah Dude, there's a lot going on back there. There is a lot going on back there. Yeah, there's some solid water back there. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty solid. I think we might, if we just leave this, I think we might be good. It does get deep. I'm just going to try to hug these cypress roots. Yeah, it gets deeper over there too. I do see a lot of water back here. That's not too bad. We're gonna toss this thing and see what happens. I don't know, I don't know. This trap should sink though. I mean, it's it's metal. I think it's aluminum or something. Something that doesn't rust. But whatever it is, we're gonna chuck this thing into this pond and hope for the best. <laughs> That's all we can do, really. All right, so this is just some old salmon that I've had in the back of the fridge, you know, forever. It doesn't stink. Not too bad, but you know, it smells like some fresh fish. If you were a crawfish, I would eat this, you know? So I'm just gonna throw this thing in the back. We're gonna let it just sit out here all day. We got another trap, making another video catching minnows. And we got traps outside, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. I always like to see what we catch. So dropping this bad boy in here. Look at that thing. Woo! Doesn't get much better than that. Right there. And we want that to sit right in the back of the trap. So nothing can get to it. And that's gonna be that. Maybe we catch something cool. If anything, we'll catch whatever at least is. Go ahead, go. You can go past me. Just don't get smacked. Ah, you good? Alright. Well, where I was stepping, I'm good. And I'm heavier than you, hun. So just follow me. Come on. Follow the wildebeest. Come on. You got this. Here you go. <laughs> Come on. You got this. Come so good. <laughs> you good. So you're stuck good. on the branch. <laughs> All right. So, oh my gosh. No, you're good. You're not gonna sink. Plus, I can I can lift you up like a little kitten. Back of your neck. Rip you up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I like that area back there. To be honest, you don't have to go too far back. But there's a lot of movement back there. If I can get this trap like up in that water facing that way, I think that's gonna be our best bet. So if you come stand right here, you'll be able to see me do all this. Hmm. Okay. You don't have to worry, just walk straight. You're good. You're not gonna sing. I promise you that. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. I'm gonna see if I can sneak around. Cause I see that that water's a little deeper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get this over there where I see that water. And I honestly think that if we wait all day, that we'll have a solid chance to catch something cool. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, there's a lot of movement back there though. All right, cool, I just have to get to it, which is the hardest part. Okay, how do I get to this 
spot. Looks like there's a little hole from the other side. I might just have to barrel through all this stuff. Stick with me, guys. Ooh. Only issue is this trap is not as durable as I am. Ah. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Cypress me. <laughs> Just took my virginity though. Ah. Okay. Oh, this does sink. Oh crap. All right, so this gets really deep over here. I got to be smart about this. It does sink. It gets really, really deep. Actually, it's super deep. It's a really, really deep pocket. It's much deeper than I thought. It's hard to see you. I'm just gonna drop that meat right in there. Oh, that is that gets so deep. Can you see me now? Yeah. All right, great. That is so deep. That gets really deep, okay. And that's that, we're just gonna leave that as it is. The entrance is good and it's leading towards that direction. The rottingness from having that piece of meat sitting like that, even though it doesn't stink too, too bad, I'm sure whatever is in this swamp is gonna smell that rotting flesh and come straight out of the deeper part of the swamp and go right in that hole. Or we won't catch anything. Maybe a raccoon will go in that hole. I have no idea, but what we're gonna do, I'm gonna tie this thing up right to this tree just in case. It does get absolutely ripped in half by a coyote or a raccoon or a snapping turtle. Who knows what we're gonna catch or what's gonna actually attempt to catch us in this trap. All right. That's that. We should be good with that. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay. Just gonna leave that as is. We're gonna leave this for a while. See how much daylight we have today? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's not the easiest way to go, but we did it, guys. We got our trap in the water submerged about six inches. I don't know, there's a lot, there's a lot of life. Let me see the camera really quick. It's a lot of life. It's a lot of life back here. As you can see, that's that straight depth. It gets deep back there. It's a lot of life. We got our trap back there. Going straight out to the deeper part of the water. Hopefully we catch some food. Yeah. You don't hold on to branches. I'm no, that's not how life works. <laughs> <laughs> but if you hug the edge, hug the cypress knees. That's the cypress knees I was talking about that just gave me an enema. The thing explored the deepest, darkest parts of my soul a second ago. There might be a hole in my culo. Ah. God. Yeah. Maybe. Ow. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting stabbed. We're all right. We're going to sit here, let that trap roast for a while. And see what we catch. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we catch something cool. I'm pretty sure that was an armadillo. You see on Instagram, I posted catching that one armadillo and I've seen multiple giant ones. I'm not sure what armadillos eat, but I'm telling you right now, they dig all over the property. And I know crawfish also dig. This whole place was flooded on a past video. This whole thing was flooded from the lake all the way back here. So come on, honey. This whole thing, there was literally fish swimming in our neighbor's backyard. We went all the way back there. I don't know if you remember, but this whole thing was completely underwater to the point that she lost fish in her pond. <laughs> but luckily they're ours now, so everything worked out. Man. All right, into the jungle we go. Whatever we catch, if it's worth keeping, we'll keep it. If not, then we won't. <laughs> all right. Our trap is still in one piece. I see it over there, which is good. Looks like the cypress knee that took my butt when I fell last time is still <laughs> nice, nice and messed up. I'm gonna come back here afterwards and clean up all this trash. I don't know what's the deal with all this trash. It might just be from the wind. Be careful coming back here. You good? Take your time. Water is all cleared up. Oh my God! Uh, no, no, I didn't mean to scare you. Look at the trap! 
Look at the size of the trap. Look oh at the size. Of, look at the size of the trap. What is that? It's a crawfish. There's two of them. There's three of them. There's three crawfish on the sides of the trap. Big ass, big one. One, two, three. Look at that. Look at. There's three of them. Hold on. Let me see this. Let me see this. There's three crawfish. Come on. Come on, honey. Come on. We got three massive crawfish. Massive on the sides of that trap. Look at them. Look at the size. Oh, I, <laughs> I know. Those are Louisiana crawfish. Giant. Wait. Oh my. Oh my God. Hold on here. Hold it. Hold the camera. Wait till you see this. We have like ten of them. We have like ten of them in this trap. How can we get? A, we have to get to this thing. They're all over this trip. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ugh. They're ugly Florida crawfish, but we have like fifteen of these things on the side of the trap. Come on, look at this, look at this. Oh, look at this thing. Look how many are just perched up. One, two, three, four. There's like 10 of them in this trap. There's another one at the front. There's like, there's literally like 10, at least 10 crawfish in this trap. Hold on, follow me, hun. Follow me, honey. I survived going this way last time. Barely. Yeah, barely, come on, come on. There's more on the bottom. There's more on the bottom. This is a crawfish topia. There's billions of crawfish. This whole area is crawfish topia. Our lake is crawfish topia. I'm sinking in here. I don't want to die. All right, cool. Here, yeah. <laughs> All right, stay on solid ground. I'm going to come up. Take actually a step back if you would. It gets so deep. Look how deep it gets. Look how deep it gets. Look how deep. Look at my legs. <laughs> Completely gone. Oh my God. Holy crap, let me hold on to this. Can you guys see? Hold on. Let me try to clear a path so you guys can see. It's like a freaking jungle back here. Oh my god. I better keep that, that one stick. Because it gets a little deep. Alright, great. Now we can see, right? Oh. Holy crap, it gets deep. Can I hold on to that? Okay, great. It gets so deep back here. Just making sure there's no gator. This feels like a gator hole, it's so deep. It's so deep, oh my God. It's so deep, look how deep this is. This is, look, look how far I am from the edge. I'm four feet from the edge. And it's up to my knees and I'm still sinking down. This is prime crawfish. Oh my God, we, we, have, we might have eels in this thing too. Oh my god! What? Look how many we have! Holy oh shit! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy sh I don't wanna curse. I can't curse YouTube. Holy crap! This is crawfish topia! Oh my god, Joey, the boys at home are gonna wanna are gonna wanna colonize my backyard. Wait till Troy finds out about this. Oh my god! Oh my god. So many of them. There's so many of them. This is undeveloped for years. This has not been, you're not allowed to develop on this land because it's protected territory. Guys, let's, let's see how big these things are. This is insane. They're so big. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take them. Uh, there's, this is just one little area. We had this trap here for what? Maybe, I don't know, eight hours. We did this was like 10 o'clock in the morning. Now it's like what, four? Five, maybe six o'clock. I don't even know. No, it's probably like 5.30 right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. All I see is crawfish. I don't even see. There's a bunch of minnows. There's trillions of minnows. Trillions, but the holes are a little bit too big, I think. So, I'm stuck. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm stuck. Do you want me to do it? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> got, got one foot. <sighs> Might as well get a thumbnail while I'm here, right? <laughs> this is crazy. Just trying to get wide. I don't know how I'm going to even get out. This might be the last video we make, guys. No, I'm kidding. Let's get out of here. I'm not getting a thumbnail. <laughs> <I'm> joking. <laughs> 
Holy crap. Oh, watch out. All right, let's, let's go ahead. Let's focus on getting out of here safely together. And then, look at that. Look at the freaking, look, it's completely littered with them. It's littered with them. Crazy. It's littered. Look at the size of that one. Can you see that? Let's take them out. Big. I've never seen them that big, guys. We're gonna take. We're gonna get this over. We're gonna get the, all these crawfish over to where we can see them because this is too much. This is, I'm, I'm like, I'm crapping myself. Let's go. Let's take these out. Oh my god. Oh my god. We rolling? Mhm. Mm oh my god. Guys, look at the size. Oh my god. This is unreal. Like I am literally at a loss for words right now. I, I'm in Louisiana. <laughs> these are Florida. These are Florida. They're not even red. They're, these are Florida crawfish. And they are massive. <laughs> they are massive. These are the biggest crawfish I've ever seen. That means they're well fed. And back there, I mean, there is so much dead gunk and everything. Oh my God, these things are massive. Oh my God. That is absolutely insane. So many of them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this to the front. Let's get a kid. Let's get a kiddie pool and dump them out. That'd be cool. Let's see how big the biggest one is in here. Come on. This here. Come step over here. We got the light behind us. That what little light we have. Sun's going down. We haven't fed the fish yet today. I'm trying to see if there's more. But that was like close to the size of the one that I saw in here and inspired me to make the last video where we were catching them in here because there's it was so big and I was like what the heck and then we only found those little those little nuggets we should have put bait bait Ugh. anyway let's go ahead we have our giants in here let's go ahead let's go fill this up this is crazy and three and that's simple as that I made this if you want to see how to make it it's on my channel already Type in fish trap. Oh my gosh. Fish trap, Zach, catch him. That should pop up. <laughs> Ready? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many. <laughs> There's so many, it doesn't even make sense. This is this isn't real. This isn't real. This is unbelievable. Look at that monster. Look at him. Ugh. Look at him! Oh my god! He's crazy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm looking to take a picture. I forgot we have a camera. I'm over here trying to take a picture. Oh, that's a water bug. Oh my gosh! Check out these things. Look at this one. I don't. I really don't want to get pinched. Oh my god! I'm 6'1", guys. Mm. This thing it's is so huge. Nice. Look at that thing, it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> guys, I don't know. We have we have crawfish. <laughs> we gotta check our minnow trap. <laughs> the size of these things are insane. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, look at that one's claws. Look at that one's claws. Oh my God. This is magical. Head him up. Woo! Get him up.